Okay, I'm gonna to talk to you about the power of story. I have a friend of mine who relayed this story. A number of years ago, he worked in a, an office and he always fancied this particular beautiful young woman. He never had the courage to go and ask her to go on a date or have a coffee. And then he eventually got a group of himself and he walked up to her and said, hi, my name's Bob, you know, I wanna go, can we go out for a coffee? And she said, no. So he walked back to the desk, a little bit crestfallen, and then thought to himself, well, I don't know why she said no. So he went back to her and said, sorry, it's me again. You know, I just, you, you said no, but I don't know why you said no. She said, well, you know, no disrespect, but I'm tall, you're shorter than me. I only go out with men who are taller than me. He's like, oh, okay. Went back to his desk and thought, nah, but I really like her. I'm sure there's a plan to be made. He went back a third time. Persistence. He went back a third time and said, look, here, I've got this idea. I'll book a, a table at a lovely little Indian pl uh, restaurant around the, around the corner. And what I'll do is I will get there first and I'll be seated. You'll come in, I'll half stand up as you walk in because I'll be polite. We'll have a meal together and then, you know, only when we walk out will people see that you're taller than me. What do you reckon? She said, fine, it's a date. Bottom line, they got married. They got married, right? Now, that's what's possible when we actually persist and we keep telling our stories, keep telling your story.